I have a chicken egg in my hands. This is a single cell. We eat these cells occasionally. When you look at this cell, it appears to be manufactured in a factory because of the shell outside. This shell is made up of calcium carbonate. This is a protection for the inner softer cell and the embryo. If you remove this shell, then the plasma membrane is going to be visible, giving it a more natural look. In this video, we are going to set up an experiment to remove the shell by using vinegar on raw eggs. Hopefully we end up with some decalcified eggs or cells without shells. The basic chemical equation in this case is that the chicken egg shells are made up of calcium carbonate. And this calcium carbonate combines with vinegar. Vinegar is acetic acid. When it combines with vinegar, it produces a salt. And the salt is calcium acetate. And this calcium acetate will accumulate at the top of the saucer or a beaker that we are using in the form of a froth. And it also produces water as a byproduct, a waste product, and carbon dioxide in the form of a gas. A waste gas is produced, and the waste gas is carbon dioxide. And the carbon dioxide bubbles, they will accumulate on the eggs.
Okay, after two days, if you look at this, the eggs have lost a lot of, lot of shell. Calcium carbonate has changed into calcium acetate. And that's what that deposit was on the top. But now after I remove the eggs, it really helps if you take the eggs and rub them a little bit with your hands. Now wearing the gloves because of the smell, I can take each egg and rub it in my hands and that speeds up the process. Otherwise it will take longer time, more days. In other words, more days. Here you can see the eggs without the shells, two of them. The rest of them will be ready by tomorrow. I think it will take one more day. After three days, that's how it looks like. Let's see. It seems like they're done. I can rub them a little bit. There's a little bit of calcium carbonate, a little bit of shell left, but if you rub it, then it clears up very quickly. Right there. There's a little bit on the top and I can rub it. The whole cell is clear. The egg is decalcified and I can keep on removing them. I can wash them with a little bit of more fresh vinegar and that will make sure that everything is gone. See, there's a little bit on the tip of the egg and when I rub it, it comes off very easily. I dip it off and then I clear it. I might break one or two eggs like this, but that's the way to do it. Okay, this is almost done. Two. 
there's a little bit on the side, on the tip, same thing, rub it, rub it gently, dip it and rub it. And it comes off very easily. See, it comes off very easily. It became loose overnight and then it just comes off very easily. The eggs. This is all clear. I think this is all clean. So is this. There's a little bit on this side. I can remove this. And right here. And right here. This is all clean too. Oh, the one that was broken in there, you saw it probably. And that's normal. Right here. All these eggs are clean out of 12. I got two yesterday and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight today. So three, three, six, eight plus two, ten. Two eggs were broken and there's one right here that is broken. You can see the yolk and I'll clean this up. So these are the eggs all cleaned up, decalcified without shell. They're raw eggs. If you break them, uh, the yolk is going to flow and the white egg white is going to flow. So these are the final eggs. They're 10 out of 12. I dipped the 12 in the vinegar and I got 10 decalcified out of 12, two are broken. They look pretty nice.